I flew my autonomous chase follow lure code on the Japana. The Japana executes a left turn following the simulated plane around. So what we have here is two synchronized log views from a real flight. Up at the top, we have a log replay of the actual flight of the Japana. At the bottom, we have the log replay of a simulator flying an auto mission. The Japana is following the simulator around the field. I'll start both log replays at the same time so you can see what really happened to both planes. You'll see the Japana flying and following the simulated plane. So, let's go. So right about there is where the transition to follow, guided flight mode, that's follow. So now the Japana in blue is following and autonomously tracking and chasing the simulator in red. As the red plane turns in the simulator, the blue plane, the real plane in the sky, turns to follow. But it's turning, as the other plane turn towards the south there, that's nice. I know the other plane does a track across to the field here and then turns, should turn to the left. And there it is, turns to the left. Now it will come back over here, and then the other plane should do a circle around. The simulator turns left, the Japana turns to the left to follow it. But it is tracking it and I'll be checking the logs later, but that looks, it's going pretty low. Let's see what's going on with the altitude. It's tracking nicely. I increased the altitude from the last flight because it was flying very low. I've got 30 meters now. The altitude offset is set to fly 10 meters below the target vehicle, which is flying 40 meters above the ground. So this is perfect. This is great, we get a nice low pass, we get a couple of geese up here in the sky. Plane's going to fly around, hopefully. Oh, it's doing just glorious, absolutely glorious. The way this works is I have a SICK telemetry radio on my PC running MAV-P2P, which is sending MAVLINK data to the Japana, which also has a SICK telemetry radio receiving the feed. It's going to come around cleanly, around nicely, circles around, follows the plane over into that corner there, the other plane's going to do a turn. And that's it. That's just beautiful. Okay, I'll do one more circuit and then I'll come in and land. That's just great. Beautiful, look at that. Following the plane over towards the east of the field and it should turn south. around in a nice, oh, just glorious. That is just beautiful. I really want to get two planes up. It's going to come around again. We've got wind now from the west, of course. So I'm going to come back around as it turns back to the east. I'm just going to switch her into turn to launch mode as it comes by. Right here. Q return to home flight mode. Landing!
That is beautiful. Just beautiful. I'm going to try to yaw it a little bit. All right, we're done. Landing complete. Motors disarmed. Ah, glorious. Look at that beautiful plane. That's exactly what I wanted to see. So I'm going to say success. We are done for today. We have now successful VTOL plane follow mode with the simulator. All we have to do is follow up now with doing it with a real plane.